This is Heather McKeithen with the Rocal Group with Keller Williams Realty out here videoing homes for a buyer out of state. Um, we did the inside and so now we're going to do the outside so that they can see what is around. We've got this one right here that you guys looked at at 105 and that one has gone under contract. We do have this one at 106 is the one that I videoed for you and that one is not under contract at this point. It's the front side of it. These homes are on a cul-de-sac out here in Eagles Ridge in Rayford, North Carolina. This area right here is right beside the 106 and it is, I do believe, a um, wetland area. So I doubt very seriously there's going to be anything built there, but I can definitely check on that for you. Wanted to make sure that, you know, with you not being here, that you get a good look at what's going on in the neighborhood as you come in and out. Um, we can see that they do have one that they're building here. They've already poured the slab for it, so we know for certain there's gonna be one. I'm gonna drive around a little bit just so that you can get an idea of what the neighborhood looks like. It's not the biggest of neighborhoods, which is okay, because um, it looks like when I've been around here, people are um, outside talking to each other. I videoed one down there for you. I see sidewalks, which is always a nice thing to have. More building is being done. You see this one right there is still in building stages. We're gonna turn down, this is Black Hawk Lane. This is just another one of the streets in the neighborhood, just so you can see what the area looks like. As I said, there's sidewalks, which is always a nice thing to have. yards look relatively maintained pretty well. I do apologize if this video is seeming like it's just redundant in watching. I'm just doing my best to make sure that because you are out of state and you are not here, that you get a good visual of what it is that you would be purchasing. We're coming up on the main entrance of the neighborhood. Um, handy dandy little sign right there that um, points you to Fort Bragg so um, needing to get to post just take a left all right so coming out this way because I'm not driving through post is the side street that you are going to go down to get into the neighborhood you definitely have some more established homes here again the yards look relatively relatively maintained. We have a home up here. It looks like they've got, we've got corn growing here. Good field of corn. Lots of it. There is a um, area up here that is um, owned by the state. We're getting ready to pass it. It looks as if this is where they um, hold some of their vehicles that they're using. Um, it's a gas up for them. Uh, maintenance office, that's what the sign just says. So we know that that's going to stay with the state because the state's not going to sell. And then fabulous, look right here. You have a fire station. fire station right down the street. If you take a right, that'll take you up to the Pinehurst, Southern Pines, Aberdeen area. If you go straight, that'll take you into the town of Rayford. We're going to choose to go left. Going to 
can drive you down here just a little bit so you can see what your drive-in looks like. You do have a um, manufacturing plant right here. I'm not quite sure what it is, but it, you know, it's a plant. There is an elementary school up here on the left. This is Upchurch Elementary School, I do believe. Newer gymnasium, yes, at church. I'm not going to drive this forever. I just wanted to give you an idea of what driving into when you go home, what it's going to be like for you. You definitely have a hometown feel as you drive through this area. Oop, it is 35. Let's slow down a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and stop at this point. Um, this stoplight will take you if you go straight. Again, you'll get into the city of Rayford. Um, you've got some shopping that you can do as far as your grocery shopping, things of that nature. Um, taking the left here is going to get you back into Fayetteville. We're probably about um, 20, 25 minutes um, into the heart of Fayetteville. Being able to get onto post, apparently that sign back there out of the neighborhood is directing you to get to post. So um, that'll get you there even faster. And I said I was going to stop, so I'm going to go ahead and stop now. All right, any questions that you guys may have as you um, are, have watched this, give me a call. It's Heather McKeithen with the Rocal Group at Keller Williams Realty. The number is 910-476-3933.